Kamus de Po, Malagayan, it's uh, our mission house here in Tanza, uh, Philippines. Uh, Magandan Agabe, <coughs> who are friends here in the Philippines. <coughs> and two other um, time zones, we want to say hello, Buenos Dias, and uh, <coughs> definitely Buenos Dias to our friends in the Western Hemisphere, including Cuba, the United States, the Dominican uh, Republic, other nations, perhaps Brazil, Canada. We want to welcome you today. We've had uh, people join us uh, from <coughs> Liberia and other several African nations. For, so no matter who you are, where you are or the time of day, we're grateful to have you with us. I don't have a, a mechanism, I don't have a smartphone, so I can't identify those who come into the conversation or those who come into our prayer time and Bible study. But if you will uh, send your correspondence to the, the platform, that you see us on right now, we'll do what we can to respond to you. We don't have a big operation, but we have a big, awesome God who continues to bless us here on the mission fields of the uh, Philippines. The Lord continues to grow, and our uh, our steps are to follow him. We brag on Jesus and he promises these signs will continue to follow those that believe and that his, his promise is trustworthy. It is true. The uh, anointing continues to flow from the cross or from resurrection day to the current day, every day, his anointing flows. He answers prayer every day. Miracles are done in his name every day. And uh, he, for you, if you don't know him, is just one moment away, just one prayer away. And uh, we're going to pray. We're going to open up with a word of prayer, and then we'll begin our Bible study uh, today in the Gospel of John, chapter 7, verse 32 is where we will begin. Father God, we uh, your, your Word tells us if there are any who lack wisdom, they can come to you and you give it in abundance. Lord, that we ask that you would open the eyes of those who don't understand. Remove the scales from their eyes. Remove blindness from their eyes. Help them to be able to see your word and your plan for their life so that they can apply it today in your lives and their lives today and that they can uh, apply and desire the will of God in their personal lives today. We thank you, Father, that uh, you uh, give us this authority in the name, the authority of Jesus Christ, your Son, we come to you and we thank you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, we're talking in uh, the Gospel of John 
Jesus is operating among an educated uh, crowd. They were very familiar with uh, Judaism. They've all been raised in Judaism. They've, they've been educated in it all of their lives. And they could sense that something was in the air. They knew about the uh, prophecies concerning the coming of Messiah and uh, these miracles that Jesus was doing, they knew that no one could do it unless God is with them. And so uh, there was a lot of argument, a lot of discussion. It says in uh, verse uh, 32, the Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. They sent people to look for dirt. They looked for a reason to betray Jesus. They were looking to arrest him. They were wanting to take him uh, into custody. And uh, today, uh, there are those uh, in this world that they hate the gospel of Jesus Christ. See, the Word of God tells us in uh, Romans chapter 1 that there are those who know who Jesus is, they understand that message, and yet they choose to live in darkness rather than evil because they desire the evil more than the good. The, in fact, uh, the first chapter of Romans, uh, verse 19, tells us that the wrath of God, the anger of God, is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of people who know the truth and uh, choose to do evil even when they understand the truth. Jesus tells us, he teaches us, that the wise hear his teachings and apply them right away to their lives. These are wise. But Jesus said that there are among those who believe his words to be true, there are those among them who are foolish. Even though they know what the truth is, uh, they don't apply it right away in their life. They feel like they're too young, they have plenty of time, they want to have fun now and turn to the Lord later in life. But Jesus says that these people are foolish and they build their house, they build their careers, they build their life upon uh, the sand, something less than a firm foundation. These Jesus calls evil and foolish. And so uh, the Pharisees heard the information about Jesus and they murmured. They weren't happy because uh, Jesus uh, represents the truth. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus teaches, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And so the, the, the high priests, the scribes, the Pharisees, they 
they represented the uh, the class of people that uh, they were they were professional uh, Christians, well educated. They were in the uh, uh, power base. They uh, in the power and authority was in the Sanhedrin and uh, with the scribes and the, the Sadducees and the scribes 35 of each made up the Sanhedrin so they had power they had authority and uh, the office of the high priest uh, they did the uh, wishes they represented the will of the Roman government instead of representing the interest of God Almighty. They, they, they compromised the principles and uh, they were familiar with the word of God in so much that Nicodemus came to Jesus by night secretly knowing that no man, uh, we know that you are a, a teacher come from God because no one can do these things unless God be with him. And they had uh, partial understanding. They didn't have complete revelation. They were thinking of this point of an earthly kingdom, an earthly reign of the Messiah. And that will uh, happen in the future, but this time he was come to save the world from our sins. Uh, Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, he says, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am, there ye may be also. So the promises are still good. But uh, at this time, they had partial revelation. They didn't understand uh, what would soon be uh, taking place. And so uh, the Pharisees, um, they were concerned and they sent uh spies, they sent out representatives uh, for the purpose to take to take Jesus, to have him arrested, taken into custody. Then said Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. So Jesus was talking about his uh, impending death, his betrayal. He was telling them, I go to prepare a place, I'm going to leave, and uh, where I go, you will not be able to find me. They didn't understand. Again, they had partial revelation, they had partial knowledge, and many people today, they have partial understanding, they have partial revelation, they don't have all of the facts. The only one who has all of the facts is our Father in Heaven, and He tells us that uh, that now as human beings we look into the future uh, like through a glass darkly, like we're looking through stained glass uh, windows, we can see uh, images, but uh, we don't have clarity when we look into the future. You know, in the past when driving into the east to go to work or, or a trip, uh, the sun will come in on your windshield and when you look 
uh, with the sun not obscured or blurred or with some kind of filter, it is too harsh for you to look into that light to be able to negotiate where you are going. So our Father in Heaven, He, he knows that we uh, we need that protection because the truth is tr about our futures is too harsh. So we look through uh, glass darkly, through stained glass, tinted uh, windows so that we can negotiate and uh, so then said the Jews among themselves, Where will he go that we shall not find him? Uh, will he uh, go in unto the dispersed uh, among the Gentiles and, and teach the Gentiles? Is that, is that what he's going to do? What manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me and shall not find me? Where I am, thither ye cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We see that Jesus uses uh, water to teach in the book of uh, in the gospel of John you'll remember uh, the mother of Jesus told the servants of Jesus whatever he tells you to do do it Jesus take he said to take those water parts fill them to the brim and then when they were filled to the tip, tip top, Jesus told his servants to begin to serve from the reservoir, from the container of what they have. The Bible tells us in, uh, in Corinthians, your body is created to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. And we see that uh, uh, if we believe on Jesus, the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Jesus says, I am the living water. I have water to give to you that will satisfy. Talking about spiritually in uh and the woman at the well, he said, if you knew who I was, you'd ask me to drink. And he was talking about water, living water. And if you come to Jesus, if you are born again, if you are one of his children, out of your belly is to flow rivers of living water. But this he spake of the Spirit, which they that uh, believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said, Of a truth, this is the prophet others said this is the Christ but some said shall Christ come out of Galilee if not the uh, scripture said that the Christ shall come of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was see they 
only had partial revelation. They didn't have all of the facts. They didn't know that Jesus uh, did. He was born in Bethlehem. That he was of the seed of De David. They only had partial information. So there was a division, an argument among the people because of him. And some of them uh, would have taken him, but no man uh, laid hands on them. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto him, Why have ye not uh, brought him? Why have you not arrested him? And the officers answered, Never man spake like this man. This guy has authority. He has power. Uh, there's something different about this man. Then answered them the Pharisees. Uh, the Pharisees are, said, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers or of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people who knows not the law are cursed. Nicodemus saith unto them, he was the one that came to Jesus by night, being one of them. Death Doth our law judge any man before it hear him and uh, knoweth what he does? They answered and said unto him, Are you also of Galilee? Search and look, for out of Galilee arises no prophet. And every man went away to his own house. See, just like today, many people are making decisions without enough information. They're making decisions about Jesus with incomplete information. Uh, Jesus tells us, he says, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Jesus said that uh, to those that believe on him, out of their bellies shall flow rivers of living water. We know from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The actions, our actions flow from our heart. If we are true believers, we believe every word that he said. Uh, we are made alive in Jesus Christ today. This is where we begin and this is where we want to stay with with Jesus uh, and he is a good God and the devil is a bad devil we learn from the word of God the apostle Paul tells us that uh, that we're human beings and we're involved in spiritual warfare he tells us in Ephesians uh, chapter 6 verse 10 to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his uh, might for we wrestle not against flesh and blood not against human beings not against carnal but uh, we are uh, we wrestle against principalities and powers the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high place, talking about the spiritual warfare. And uh, we know that sickness 
and disease and depression, all of these things come from the devil. Because our Father is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Our, our goodness, every good and perfect gift comes down from God the Father. And he is good. He doesn't change. He tells us in Luke uh, chapter 10, actually Luke chapter 11, that as a, a good earthly uh, parents like to give good things to their children, our Father in heaven, uh, he does even more. He likes to give good things to his children, even the Holy Ghost. To those that ask, uh, they and to the woman, to the man that was impotent, he had no pe uh, very little physical strength. He laid at the uh, at the pool at Bethesda for 38 years, and he had not received from God. And Jesus said. Will you be made whole? And he gave Jesus an excuse as to why he could not get what he was uh, waiting for from God. And Jesus told him, Rise, take up your bed, and walk. And so he did that, and he received uh, from God. The mother of Jesus uh, tells his servants, those who serve Jesus, whatever he says to you to do, do it. He told them to minister from their pots, uh, pots of water, and as they began to pour it out to those to whom they ministered, they poured out from their supply, and it was... It was what the people were expecting. It was potent. It was the best of what they expected. They were expecting. Uh, they were expecting wine, and they poured out from their containers of of water. And what they received in their mind was the best. Was the very best. Brothers and sisters. This world is full of confusion, chaos, turmoil, full of fear. And how many times do we hear from our Father, from Jesus, His Son? How many times do we see in Scripture where He says, It is, it is I have no fear. And He says to Joshua, As I... As I was with uh, Moses, I will also be with you. Have I not said to you, be bold, be strong, for I am with you. And uh, some sing that song, be bold, be strong, for the Lord our God is with you. I do not be afraid. I will not be afraid. For we're walking in faith and victory. Walking in faith and victory for the Lord. Our God is with us. Yes, we want to walk with Him. We want to be born again. Uh, I am crucified with Christ and uh, we want to resurrect in new life with Jesus from the dead. If any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creation. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. Uh, we want to invite you to be born again if you have not already been born again. And uh, if you're not sure, we're going to pray and I ask you to pray in agreement with us. 
you want to be born again. Holy Father, I come to you. I want what this missionary has. I want the blessings that the Apostle Paul and the Apostles Peter and John and James. I want that assurance. I want that grace that they have. And uh, I see in your word, I must be born again to receive this grace, this peace. So, Father, I ask that I be crucified with my old man, be crucified with Jesus Christ, my bad habits and that I would be resurrected in the Spirit to new life, that the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken my mortal body that help me to make that supernatural change so that I can be resurrected with Jesus in spiritual life. I want to be like you. I want to learn about your kingdom and have your kingdom come in my life as it is in heaven. I want your will to be done in my life. And I want your kingdom to come, your will to be done in my life as it is in heaven. Father, give to me this day daily bread, provision, more than enough allowance to pay our bills. And Lord, we thank you for your... Uh, faithfulness. We thank you, Father, that uh, each one of these will follow you by faith and that by faith they will receive good spiritual leaders, good pastors, good teachers to help us to understand your word and apply it to our lives. We thank you, Father. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, we pray in Jesus' name. Now, brothers and sisters, we uh, upload uh, teaching from the Word of God every day by faith uh, in, uh, in him we I put a new teaching up every day and if, if uh, you can find teachings on this platform to help you to grow in knowledge of the word of God and to build your relationship with Jesus Christ and uh God is doing so many great things. Uh, the crowds here have been uh, standing room only. In some cases, people have not been able to get into the services and find a place to, to sit. But uh, the team, the pastors that we are working with are already making plans for a uh, to use a bigger uh, building a bigger site uh, beginning the first Sunday in March if you want to participate in that contact us here and uh, if you can't come personally maybe you can help us with some of the finances, some of the bills. Uh, but there are certainly opportunities 
available for his children who you might not be able to come full time, but you might be able to come for a short term to work with us, or you can help sponsor those who can come and volunteer their time to help. So we thank you all for who you are, for listening to the Lord, doing what you can do, and uh, we can make sure that we uh, get to you who ask that uh, link to the platform so that you can give directly uh, to the work of God. We appreciate each and every one of you. I know that some of you in the Philippines, you've still got assignments, you've got things you have to do tonight before you go to bed, but just the same, uh, Magandang uh, Gabe, good night to you. And some of you, depending on where you are located, you've got things to do today and th that you still need to get accomplished. So to you, uh, we want to say God uh, bless you in Via Candios. May God be with you and we look forward to seeing you or your communication in a little bit less than uh, 23, 24 hours. We want to hear from you. You have a good day. Dios Living Dega. Go in peace.